Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we're taking a look at how to get a random source value per step on the Novation Peak. So there are quite a few synths out there that don't have a random value per key entry or per note that you can use in a mod matrix, for example. Now, in this case, there's a workaround. And that's, of course, because we do have a sample and hold waveform. So let me first play a little riff here and show you the basic problem. So you can hear the LFO is just flowing up and down and modulating the filter. Now this is our random source right here. So what a sample and hold waveform in an LFO does is it spits out these random values, which we can use for modulation like you see here. But what I want is for a new value per key step. Now there's a number of synths where you just don't have that option, but Peak actually does. If we go to the LFO screen, you can see we have the phase set to free currently. So if we change this over to zero degrees, what that does is it immediately sets it to phase retrigger. So now every time the peak gets a note, it's going to reset the sample and hold oscillator. And because of the nature of a sample and hold, what it's doing is sampling a random source. Every time we hit a key, we're going to get a new value. Now there are lots of cool uses for this. My favorite is to take a bar or two of uh, MIDI notes and just transform it into a much longer sequence using the random modulation. So let me just demonstrate how this works. This is free running. So you can hear that rise and fall. And now you can hear it being re triggered with every note. Now the same principle applies to the sample and hold. Okay, so now for me the fun begins. We can start taking a look at all the other areas we can apply this random source to. And don't forget we have two LFOs, so we could do it with LFO2 if you wanted as well. Now the first thing I'm going to do though is bring in some delay because that really builds the rhythm on a patch like this. Thank 